Lots of vendors don't realise that chocolate is poisonous to dogs. It's the active ingredient called theobromine, which is poisonous, and this is in the cocoa part of chocolate. The toxic or poisonous amount depends on the amount of cocoa within the chocolate. So for instance, cocoa powder is very high in its concentration of chocolate, whilst dark chocolate is a little bit less but still pretty high. Milk chocolate contains about 20% cocoa, so less again, and white chocolate contains very little cocoa. So the amount of chocolate that your dog requires to be poisonous depends on the type of chocolate, and it also depends on the size of your dog. I have a dog called Freddy, and he is a 20 kilogram lurcher, which equates to about three stone. If he was to eat chocolate, he would require a whole bar of milk chocolate, this sort of size, for it to be a poisonous amount. Um, so it's, it's quite a lot of milk chocolate. However, if he ate dark chocolate, he'd only need four squares, which would be just that small amount at the top. So it, it's a lot less if it's dark chocolate. And if you have a very rich dark chocolate, such as a 70% cocoa dark chocolate, he'd need even less. Now, that still sounds quite a lot, but if you have a five kilogram dog, he would only need eight squares of milk chocolate or one of dark chocolate or even less of a high percentage cocoa chocolate to be poisonous. So it's really very important that you take this into account when you see that your dog has eaten some chocolate. If you're worried about giving doggy chocolates, they are actually specially formulated for dogs and don't contain theobromine, so they are perfectly safe. With chocolate poisoning, of course, prevention is better than cure. So the most important thing is to avoid your dog having chocolate in the first place. If you do suspect that your dog has eaten some chocolate, or you know your dog has eaten some chocolate, then please phone your vet straight away. It doesn't matter what time of day or night, as all vets are meant to have a 24-hour service. There will always be somebody on the end of the phone, even if you think your query is silly. There's always somebody to answer the phone and advise to be seen if necessary. So please do do that. Signs that you may see at home, if, if you think your dog has been poisoned, are that your dog may dribble, it may vomit, and it may show signs of agitation. Uh, it may have a little bit of diarrhoea, and it may even twitch or have convulsions. Obviously, if you see any of these signs, you should also phone the vet. Mm -hmm.